welcome to What Is Art Live 2011, first show of the new year. Uh, we got a new format. This is Tim Sullivan with Chris Carenti, my co-host. What are we going to do tonight? We have some topics we're going to discuss. We have some art that we're going to critique. And we also have some fabulous guests. Very special guests. Let's meet them. Hey, how are you? Hey, it's George Kishar. Nice to see you out of the classroom. Thanks. Great to see you out of the classroom as well. Of the San Francisco Art Institute, which is still standing. It's still standing, is it? There are people in there. I haven't been there in a while. <laughs> it's drafty. <laughs> Who did your uh, uh, promo, whatever the hell that is? Who did your main logo? That was a bunch of students from the San Francisco Art Institute including Chris Carranti here, and he was also, he wrote the song. That it's very it. beautiful and very catchy. Congratulations. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, I think it was. Appreciate good. your appreciation, George. That's all right, that's all right. And I'm so glad that uh, Shingles isn't catching. Otherwise, I'd have to take this shirt off. Because I've had Shingles already. <laughs> I know how miserable it is. This is my first time in nine days out of the house after oh, Shingles. Wow, nine oh, days. Anybody else ever catch Shingles? No, I haven't. Linda, I it's heard not too not late. Catching, no, not. you can't. You can't <laughs> <laughs> you can make out it's not a problem. Yeah. Have you ever had anything worse than shingles? Anything that hurt more? Because I want to know what I'm up against later in life. I had a operation where I had metal inserted in my foot, and mm. that was horrible when I woke up on the operating table after the thing. But that's uh, any other thing not so bad, you know what I mean? Mm. So I'm, I'm pretty much good now after I've had shingles. Yeah. You, know, you, may, you may have a very long break. I sure as hell hope so. Jeez. <laughs> I hope so too, Chris. Jeez, it sounds oh, terrible. Take a look at this. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, oh, is that horrible? What is that? Get a close-up. That, that got worse. It? Let me try to... No, it just got extra put that, bumps put that right. It. Put it in front of Linda. Oh, over here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I had a bit of uh, benign skin cancer, a little patch removed, but they made about a four-inch slice over there. Oh, they geez. stitched it up, and then it had a staph infection. So I had oh. to fight the infection. So, you but should one see thing the about other that guy. Is that it's a lot it, better. <laughs> it, that it wasn't painful. Yeah. You might, you maybe could use that in one of your movies. I did already. Oh, oh good. Like a hand, <laughs> I knew it. Reaching for dope. <laughs> reaching for painkillers. Why don't we have George Beautiful. introduce Linda? Yeah, George, could you introduce Linda Martinez here? Linda Martinez, superstar. Linda Martinez lives near the Art Institute, and she has been appearing in a lot of our class pictures. She's our Sharon Stone. Linda? Sure. Indeed. Hello, everybody. It's been a pleasure being Sharon Stone. I would never dream to be that in my real life. You know? Don't <laughs> want anybody to think I run around without underpants all the well, time. Well, it's good you're wearing <laughs> pants, that's all I can say. These chairs are kind of low, you know what I mean? And then we have yeah. a student, we have representing here, Tom Fritchie, who's taken the class two or three times already. Yeah. Tom, could you squeeze Could you squeeze in a, uh, just a tiny bit so we can we can see you a little more? Yeah, Tom Is Fritchie, three times you've oh. been in the class? Or four? It's Possibly four, four now. Four. Yeah. It's been a while. Tom Fritchie is like a young Stan Brackage. If there was a life of Stan Brackage, you would cast Tom Fritchie as the young Stan Brackage. And it warms my heart every time he says it. It's warming my heart. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Your hands look also very warm with those. Those are like, kind of like strangler gloves or something. What, what do you got going chilly. on there? It has been yeah, cold out. Yeah. It's been cold out. But it matches your hair. He's got a wonderful head of hair. I wish I had that kind of hair still. Yeah. Me I'm too. a little envious of it myself. Yeah, yeah it's something else. Oh, okay. You've got you a lovely uh, mustache. Now, what about you? Take that hat off so we can see what your head looks like. Tell my mom. I still got bad. it. Not bad. It's all right. Yeah. Might have hat uh, head. I've been wearing, been wearing the hat all day. All right. So, recently you did, you and Mike, you and your brother Mike. Who's not here. We, I apologize. We thought we were going to have him. We thought we'd have Mike. He's not yeah, here. What happened to him? He bought Mr. Coffee. I missed the coffee machine. I guess they tired him out. <laughs> he had to walk to some discount house. Oh, my God. You know, priorities, priorities. Yeah, oh, yeah. I guess we'll forgive him here. Well, you guys, we had, we had a clip. You guys are, are known in the filmmaking community as some of the fathers of underground filmmaking, maybe they say. It's true. Grandfathers, it's so true. godfathers. Grand creepy uncles. <laughs> creepy <laughs> uncles of underground filmmaking. Yeah. <laughs> we so we have a clip um, from a recent uh, work that you two did together. Okay. You used to work together as when you were younger, right? When you were children. Yes. Sometimes. We started making before we were teenagers. I think twelve years old. We started making eight millimeter movies, and then uh, you know, then we switched to uh, sixteen millimeter when we got jobs, and then we've been making video now 
for quite a long time I switched the video and I love it so much and uh, that's the only time that I work very well on a computer you know I got another computer and I do email this only edits it's my advancement to computers after learning how to work them at a bank <laughs> that was my first thing to a computer when you try to get money out of the thing and I didn't like it <laughs> now I feel much more comfortable with them. Great, great. So we, we have a clip from the a piece that you two did together recently from for I think it was done for Vice Magazine. Yes, or Vice Magazine approached my brother and I and said, uh, how about they're doing a series on people together making movies? So this is the first time we got in there. And then I did the lighting on my brother's piece and then he shot mine. And uh, we took a look at mine and we figured out that it was un you couldn't save it. It was atrocious <laughs> looking. But then I edited it and I tried special things to save it. So my brother dumped that thing on me because he was tired of shooting his thing already. And uh, we made this thing. It was our comeback uh, together, working together. Beautiful. Awesome. Well, let's have a look at it. It also stars Linda Martinez, yes, by the way. Yes, in it, yes. Him and that's uh -oh. what he's seen <laughs> 25 years of my life with that slob down the drain. Hold on, there's a... I can dump her in, Linda. There's a <laughs> she's saying something about being married. She's that's married to a guy okay. she doesn't like. There he is. That's what so I Here want. we are. Should I shut up? It doesn't oh. matter. <laughs> you make can me you hear laugh. her sound or what? Is she no. talking? On they, they, they can hear it. They can hear it. You really love that You do all of your things. You can sing. Here's your chance to do the commentary. He me. Me. His <laughs> wife for all these years. It's not here in the shell of shame. Your words, the way they form between those teasing lips. Come closer so that the syllables can singe this frozen veneer of ice that has immobilized my heart. Your heart? Don't make me laugh, you snowman of coal black eyes and carrot-like extremities in your temperature. It's that thermometer you keep hidden under those credentials. Fantastic! There, so there it was. That was great. Yes, and that was my TA, Tiffany Doskin, and about 30 years ago I had her father was my TA at the school. Oh, that's amazing. So, uh, it's generations, following generations. You'd think they would have learned their lesson. You would think so. You know? <laughs> She's a, quite a voluptuous, good-looking woman. So, you know, the show goes on. The show goes on. And uh, Linda, we're so happy that you're a part of the program and that Linda spends a lot of money also getting costumes. She buys them on her own. And the costumes are more than our budget. Our budgets <laughs> usually run about, uh, they were giving us $150, $200, but we have an anonymous donor who gives us uh, supposed to maybe $600. Oh, wow, time. fantastic. But the school is supposed to match that, and they don't. <laughs> they give about $150, but we're trying to get $1,200 to make a picture. Not a shocker. It is. It's a, it's a disgrace. Right now we're making a film noir. Only you're using real film for a change. No. No? Absolutely no. not. I'm no. trying to make it look like film. I'm trying oh, to make it look like oh, film. It's a cheat. <laughs> no, it's a cheat. I make it in black and white and then occasionally I put scratches on it. If the picture looks particularly bad, you make it look even worse and it looks better. That's the key to those movies. Oh. It's going to be a talkie also. And Tom Fritchie appears in it once in a while. Once in a while. He comes by, usually he plays a member of the clergy. Or a mad scientist, I found. Yeah, yeah, that's because of those gloves and stuff. The gloves. But listen, you've been in pictures too. You were Victor Frankenstein. You played Victor Frankenstein in our Frankenstein series which showed at the Roxy Theater. That's right, that's right. They showed it all in a row. It was devastating. <laughs> that audience was devastating. <laughs> the colors were so bright. And that Chris Carenti, amazing. Chris Carenti, also a member of the class, he has appeared many times in our productions. Oh, we got to give you a bigger role. I, you always say that. You only give me roles where you have to hide my face, George. I, I start to think you're not, you don't find me attractive. But it's, no, it's you a, look very good in a loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I, I saw that one. That's usually, that's usually <laughs> oh, that guy's willing one? to do anything and we can hide his face. <laughs> yes. Let's go ahead. And you played a Muslim lady and it was so sexy. That was, yeah, those, <laughs> those boots <laughs> worked for me. Oh, I do uh, believe you had sexy legs in one scene. Mm -hmm. Oh, saw, awesome lady, I missed that one. You got nice games there. Thanks. <laughs> yes. We do, we, in this class, you know, we do whatever George asks us to do. Almost. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just there. You know, I'm under contract and I have to appear. And we have to make a picture. So, of course, then the students are under contract, too. They signed up for the class. So there's no stopping us. We have to make a picture. 
And we used to have very good fans. It was the cleaning men. But then they left. And so one teacher comes, and that's about it. And then we put up posters and try to get more people to attend our screenings. Now, how big is your audience here for this show? Oh, it's big. Is yeah. It big? Oh, yeah. Are we international? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Well, without a doubt, it's on the internet. Okay. Anywhere in the world. In Canada. Oh, okay. We have, we have a. I think we even have a lady from Argentina who's a big fan of yours and Mike's, who really? sent a piece of artwork in for us to look at and talk about. Yeah, you want to look at this girl's art now? This is my fault. I put the DVD together, and uh -huh. I have forgotten this poor girl's name. Oh, but she oh. sent in this art and said she's a huge fan of yours, and she hoped that we would critique the art. It's a photograph. So should we? Yes. Let's go to it. Should I put my glasses on or the hell with it? I can see far side. I used to be near sighted, now I'm far sighted. <laughs> my eyes changed over the years. Okay. We'll put you oh. far away from it then. Okay. Yeah, but just we'll keep you where you I are. It'll be on the computer screen, okay. so you'll see okay. We this is also uh, open to the public. So we have a uh, the phone number at the bottom of the screen so you can uh, call in and Give okay. your two cents about... It might be a dirty phone call. I fool around now and then. I go to these dirty bookstores. I know somebody's going to recognize me and call it. Uh, <laughs> they probably watch this. Yeah. All right, so we have... Um, that's well, that's the a art. beautiful uh, picture. It's a nice white that's arm. A, what a is that, a Denny's in the background or a Walgreens? Uh, that sign. Uh, I don't think it's something large and corporate from like that. Yeah, I think it's an Argentine. There's a double thing. decker like a double, bus involved. Mm -hmm. It oh, looks like okay. a it looks like a reflection in a uh, window. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, maybe in a maybe in like a, a store window or something. A reflection. Could it be? But she's not wearing much. Which yeah, is it looks like she, like that? she might not have anything on. Maybe she's in the apartment and she's catching the reflection off the window mm. and the street outside. Okay. Right, right. And you think the street is uh, number fifty-seven? M? I think it's the bus line. Okay. We're learning about Argentina. Hey, right. what was Isabel Sarli? She's my favorite. Was she from Argentina? We, was she oh, Argentina? Should we take it? Do we? Yeah, something's flashing. There's a flashing light. Somewhere. Let's 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 see what the caller has to say. Oh, no, Jesus. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Do you, do you... Uh, hi, I wanted to say something about the work. Yes. Um, there's something about it that's like a dream. It's sort of like uh, like like memories or something. Something dreamlike. Yes. Yeah, 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 but it looks like a nightmare because she's holding her head. Or it's in front of her. Head. Yeah. Yeah. It's Maybe it's just in. Yeah, yeah a beautiful nightmare. Tonight. A beautiful nightmare. Maybe that's what we're titling it. Now. Isolation. Ah, beautiful night. Maybe we should title the works. Yeah, whoever, whoever's out this is, if you're watching, this piece is called Beautiful Nightmare. Sweet dreams. Beautiful I, I would title it, My Dream is Fading Away. My Dream is Fading Away. We'll consider that one, too. How about Dream 57? Dream 57. Bye-bye. All right, thank you. Yeah, that was good. Right. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was yeah, good feedback. She, Definitely. Uh, this ha that Argentinian woman, uh, she can understand this show. She must understand English. She typed in English, so. Okay. I think so, yeah. Well, I hope she uh, appreciates Isabel Sarli. I think she was Miss Argentina and she made all these movies. And I'm a big fan, Isabel Sarli fan. Isabel Sarli. Yeah, Fuego. Made, I don't know. She made Fuego. 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 And a bunch of other oh. pictures. <laughs> and she recently had a big, huge show at the Lincoln Center in the, the film festival. She's being discovered. Thanks in part to you, I understand. Well, I really? tried to champion that woman. <laughs> That's <laughs> so. fantastic. Somebody's calling. <laughs> let's let's see. Let's take one more call. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, uh, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, I have a question for George Kuchar. Yeah, George, are you willing to take a phone. take a question? From I don't believe it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I'll take the question. Is it Jerry Brown? You can tell us. No. Oh no, it is definitely the old governor. But hey, George, what is your favorite color? You know, Don't it's, answer that. No, it's red. Because one time when I got super stoned, the students were giving me drugs, and they gave me LSD, and red really popped out. And it Oh, my God, that's amazing. Have a good one. Okay. <laughs> so red. I never yes, heard that. That's a, that's no, red story. had popped out, and it became, I think that's the color that uh, motivates me. But it was uh, skewed, like uh, everything was uh, skewed. It was yeah. like a, a line, diagonal line to everything. So uh, I believe it. 
Yeah. Because for this upcoming film, George told me before we started filming, bring three dresses. I had a gold one, a black one, and a red one. He said, oh, that's it. The red the one. The red one. Yeah. The red one. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Red's, I mean, red's sexy too, right? It's so true. Ah, right. And especially at my age, you have to keep that going. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's a desperate attempt to fight the dying libido. You know what I mean? Let the world know you're hiding. <laughs> no, the libido's not dying, unfortunately. Oh, it keeps yes. on going, you know. It's like a meal that never ends. You hope you have that one big meal and you forget about it, but no. It keeps gnawing at your insides. Uh, <laughs> just watch one of our films. You'll know that we're still living, clicking. Yeah, the, definitely. The the Without a doubt. Feeling Without up a doubt. all these younger hawks, you know. I love to defrock yeah. priests. <laughs> I am at a loss for words. <laughs> Just, uh, they're not real priests, you know, they're That's figments right. of our imagination. Yeah. They're uh, representatives of that religious yearning that we all have. Some of it's a cult, and some of it's based on, you know, stable religions and stuff, and it's the battle that we constantly go through. How do we equalize this, the animal and the spiritual? Right. And we try to make the movies display that. Thank you. Well, you know, you have to make some. In order for the pictures to survive, they have to have meaning, and they have to have a universal meaning, and then that comes through if you don't know what you're doing, because then something takes over, and the subconscious and everything else comes out, because you know you're so busy trying to figure out what to do that something does take over, and you do it. Uh oh, what the hell was that? No. Is that my, uh, do I get a text? No, no I don't worry about it. See, I'm prepared. I'm, prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry that stopped you. I'm sorry that stopped you. <laughs> you were wrong. It's all right, it's all right. George, can I ask a question? Yes. All right, so Linda before was saying we do whatever it is that you require of us for the pictures. And generally speaking, that, that seems to be true. People really like to do whatever you ask them. How conscious of you are... How conscious are you of the fact that when you want people to do things, they just do it? And throughout your life outside of filmmaking, is that, do you just walk around charmed? Or what's what's the story? No, it's very weird. Like, you know, as a movie maker, well, people want to be directed. They want to know, what the hell do I do? So you tell them what you do. You know what I mean? Like, do this. And then uh, there's a certain kind of magic uh, involved, I guess, in filmmaking. It's kind of like voodoo. And so there's the voodoo master, and I guess that would be me. And people are listening to me, and um, you know, a spell is woven. I don't know that I'm doing it. It's just that I have to do it because I'm there to make a picture. And then uh, people uh, will listen to me occasionally. And occasionally they say, "Oh, I can't wear that. What do you? What am I? What do you think? I'm retarded or something?" <laughs> the students will sometimes say that. But uh, and then we find an equilibrium. But, you know, then it makes for also another magic, because it'll be like Laverne and Shirley, because they didn't get along very well, but it was a show that was a great big hit. So there's sometimes conflicts and stuff that appear, but very seldom, because I have a happy set, and it's a swinging door policy. So people come in and out, and there's no great pressure and no fear of the equipment, or that I'm going to have a breakdown and yell at them. I have quiet breakdowns. These are inner breakdowns. But getting out to class, you can make them into the uh, productions. Should we take one more call? Beautiful. George Kushar, voodoo master. I think the technical term is wedge dog. All right, oh, you're on the dog. air. Hi. Uh, I think this is an excellent show, I wanted to say. I think that George could really have his own show. He's fascinating. Indeed, yeah, yeah. George yeah. is an amazing. He has a lot of his own shows, in a way. <laughs> yes, I make these video diaries. In fact, I'm working on one now, editing that, and then I edited our class picture. You know, it does not look like a flop. It looks like another nope. hit oh, in the make. That's good. You know Fantastic. I mean? So, um, you're yeah. already into the editing of it, didn't it just start? I had to edit because I have personal problems that are gnawing at my brain, and I have to stop it. I have to get back <laughs> to do something to stabilize myself. And therefore, I sit down and I edit a picture. And it's like, oh, I remember doing this. I do this all the time. And it's helping me from cracking up. Because, man, I can have a real spiral uh, tailspin. You know what I mean? It's going to be disaster. Two minutes. Tom understands. I speak to the young and they speak to me. It's man-to-man -man talk, even though he's 40 years younger or what? Something like that. Okay. Significantly. <laughs> How do you understand, Tom? Do you go through a similar... <clears throat> Is something similar uh, in your life? Unfortunately, yeah. I, I, I double as his chauffeur and his uh, sympathy. <laughs> so. 
But I'm going to be 70 in uh, two more years. I'm 50 years younger than you. 50 years, holy cow. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I try to keep in shape in case uh, somebody calls for an, a shower scene, time for your shower scene in a movie, you know what I mean? You call for your own. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always have to appear in a, in a uh, skimpy underpants scene. It's vital for my career and my personal life. You never you know never who's know, watching. Well, you never know who you're going to turn on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, see what happens. Yeah. But, Linda, we don't want to talk this way. <laughs> with you Not in front of a lady. Right? Yeah, please. Sure. <laughs> No. Sake. We have one minute left, guys. <laughs> one minute left. Oh, any listen. last any last words? Yeah, what is this background? Is this a flag or what? Is this the uh, when you have in the when the TV starts they have the color bars. You put it on right in the show throughout the whole show? Yeah, that's that's our that's our flag, the color bars. The flag of Fredonia. George. So Okay, it's nice. <laughs> this is about art, everybody. And I suggest that you all get into art. Don't let art get into you. No, you totally got to let art get into you. Let's, let's be... Please, right, send it. Right. No, you ruined it for all of us. That's what I said. Well, what goes Every, in must come you can out. You do better if touched right. by art only withers and dies. Don't go into it. <laughs> all right. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Thank our special guests, George Kishar, Linda Martinez, Tom Fritchie. Mm -hmm. Third Thursdays. Right? Third Thursdays. We're going we're gonna to keep this going. Every third Thursday. What is art live? Thank you. Thank you. You did an excellent and good job, night. man. Excellent job. Excellent job. Yeah. Thank you, guests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good going. Good night. It's All right, we're done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, I think that turned out really good. <laughs> that was great. It's you guys were great, great. It's a great show. It's a great idea. Wonderful. Thank I hope it keeps invitation. rolling for years. Tim McGooder was texting oh, yeah, Timothy. He, he texted me. He wanted me to ask you to talk about Tennessee Williams. Old about Tennessee Williams. I think he texted your, me. Your too. experience. Yeah. He texted yeah, all of us. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was. That was. I don't think he texted right? Linda. I think I, think I read that in the book, right? I could have had, you know, who, maybe he was making. Who a, was the name? Who? Uh, Tim McGooder. Tim McGooder. He's the fellow who looks yeah, like yeah, James Dean. Oh yeah. Texted everybody. Do you think about that all the time? I could have. It was so close. Only lately, I've realized. So now we have to. Is anybody coming? Do we have to? I think so. I think so. People are coming in, right? Yeah. Yeah. They look good. Good. Great. Good. Fantastic.